Thank you so much. I want to say a pleasant good night to each and every one of you at this time who are tuning in to our weekly program entitled Christ and Him Crucified. This is, as I said before, a weekly program that's been broadcast or aired by MTV at about this time every Sunday evening. Therefore, I want to thank the management team of this television station for the opportunity to be here to share the gospel to all of our listeners that are locally, regionally, and internationally. This is truly a joy to be here to share in God's word. Amen. Let us pray. Father, tonight we thank you for your word. We thank you, O God, that we can come again in your presence to, Father, look into your gospel, O Father, your word that saves, your word that delivers, your word that heals. Lord, I thank you. And for all those that are there at this time and they are listening to this broadcast, Lord, I pray that your Holy Spirit would intervene and, Father, you would speak to them tonight so that, Lord, they can come to recognize you as the Lord and Savior. Thank you and bless us this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Once again, good night to all our folks out there. Tonight I want to share with you from one of the books in the Old Testament, Daniel. Daniel chapter 3. I'm going to share two verses in chapter 3 16 and 17 it says Shadrach Meshach and Abednego answered and said to the king O Nebuchadnezzar we are not careful to answer thee in this matter if it be so our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us out of thine hand O king this evening I want to share with us the topic know the potential of the God that we are serving know the potential of the God that we are serving Brethren, I want us to see tonight that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were sending to the king a strong message. They were sending to him something that they want him to understand. And that is about the potential of the God that they are serving. They want the king to recognize that they are serving a God that has the potential to save them, to deliver them. They were not responding, brethren, to the king's question. When he asked them in verse 15, he said to them, Of whom is that God that shall deliver you out of my hand? King Nebuchadnezzar asked, these three men, who is this God that can deliver you out of the hand? I believe that Nebuchadnezzar would have asked the question not to genuinely know the potential of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego God. But I believe he asked the question because he believed that he has the power in his hand. He believed that he has the final say in everything. 
He said, look, my words, he believed that his words have the power. What I say, no one can go against it. I have the power to pass laws and rules and regulations. And no one should question or disobey my laws and my regulations. So brethren, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, he told them, listen, you need to understand this. You need to understand what my degree is. So the golden image, he said to them, listen, I have set up this golden image. This God that I have set up for everybody to bow down to. To bow and worship. And if you fail to bow down and worship this God, you'll be destroyed. You'll be placed in that fiery furnace. They were not prepared to answer the king in the foolishness that he was saying. They were not. But they were prepared to show the king the God that they are serving has the potential to deliver them. The God that they are serving, he is mighty. They believe the almighty God has the potential to use his power to save his people from anything. Friends, this is what I believe tonight and this is what I'm trying to ask you to believe tonight. That God, the almighty, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and Jacob has the power to deliver you from any situation in your life. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, O king, we are not bothering to address your, your matter, your question, but we will draw something to your attention. We are going to show something to you, and that is, we are going to show you that we are serving a God that is able to deliver us. They told the king in verse 17, our God whom we serve is able. Brethren, tonight I am saying the same thing to you, that the God that is over us, the creator, the mighty God, is able to deliver us from any situation. What is your situation tonight? Don't doubt, believe, and God will deliver you. So they said to the king, we are serving a God whom we can deliver us. We are serving the God that will take us out from this present situation. And so they pointed out two things to him. Or rather one thing here. But under this I'll show you two things that they, that they were delivered from. The Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego said that God is able to deliver. Tonight I'm saying to you brethren that right where you are, God is able to deliver you from any condition. He said... God is able to deliver. But what did Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was saying to the king? What God, God can deliver them from? He says, God can deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace. Brethren, many of us tonight may be sitting and listening, looking at, at this program. And you might be placed... Or you might be in a physical fire. Or you might be placed in a literal fire. But I want to show you tonight, brethren. Many of us may not have been placed in any physical fiery furnace. But there are those spiritual furnace or fiery furnace that... They are around us. We are confronted with spiritual fiery furnaces every minute or every day of our lives. They are around us and they want to destroy us. They want to completely burn us so that we, our heads don't raise anymore. But let us say to these fiery furnaces, 
this that is heating up daily and moment by moment all those that are heating up these furnaces my god is able to cool down the heat of these furnaces my god have this has the potential to cool down any fiery furnace daniel said the amount of lions the amount of lions that stood around me, that are walking around me, I don't care. It doesn't matter. What matters is that God has the potential to deliver me from the jaws of these lions. Joseph said to his brothers, I don't care how deep that pit you are going to put me in i don't care how wide it is but i know the issue is here that god is able to get me out of the spit that you all are going to place me in that's what i am concentrating on i believe in a god that will deliver me joseph said you can take my coat potiphar you can do what you want with it you can take the coat of many colors that my father gave. But you cannot destroy my dignity and my destiny. David said to go, Lord, hear me. I'm coming to you with just a stone, a sling. But you come in with your sword and your shield. Your size don't bother me. Your shield and your sword, I don't worry about it. Because I am serving a God that can use just a stone. And a piece of string and end your supremacy. Paul and Silas said to the, to the jailer, Hey, I am telling you, you can tie up our hands, you can tie up our feet, you can tie any part of our body, but you cannot tie up our, my, our mouth and our tongue because we can echo praises to God and the God can deliver us. Brethren, whatever is your fiery furnace this morning or tonight, I am saying God is able to take you out. He has the potential to do it. What is your fiery furnace tonight? Maybe your family problem. Maybe the doctor said to you, look, you have a problem in your body. That... It seems as though we'd have to do major surgery and you are worrying this is a furnace, this is a fiery furnace in there now. But I am saying to you, brethren, in spite of what the doctors say, let me tell you that there is a great physician that can take care of that problem right now. He can heal your body right now. You just have to believe that he is a God that has the potential to heal and to deliver. You believe that. But not only brethren that God has the potential to deliver from fiery furnaces. But God also has the potential to deliver us out of any hand. I repeat that. Not only God has the potential to deliver us from any fiery furnace, but God has the potential to deliver us out of any hand. There is no hand that is stronger than the hand of God, brethren. You think somebody is holding you? Let me tell you, God can loose you. God can free you tonight from the hands. Pharaoh tried it. Pharaoh tried it with the Israelites. He enslaved the Israelites in Egypt for many years. He thought that he had the power to keep them as long as he wanted. But little did Pharaoh know that there is a God, there is a God that is able to intervene at the right time. There is a God where his timing is always right. And I'm telling you tonight, brethren, don't worry with anyone that tells you that you have a problem and he won't heal. Don't worry. God can touch your life. He has the potential. Pharaoh tried. He tried to keep down the Israelites had them in bondage. He thought he had the power 
to hold them. But little did he know, as I said, he has the potential. God has the potential to bring freedom to anyone. What hand are you in tonight? What hand are you? Are you in the hand of some neighbor that is causing unrest in your life? You cannot sleep. You cannot stay in your home. You cannot relax. Let me tell you, God can free you from that hand tonight. This hand cannot keep you down. What hand are you in? Are you in the hands of the devil that is causing you to do all kinds of wicked things? That is causing you to go against the plan of God? Let me tell you, God can deliver you from the hand of the devil. If you are in God's hand, let me tell you, you are in the right hand. No one, the Bible says that no one is able to pluck you out of the hand of God. And believe this by faith. That God's hand is strong enough to hold everyone. And to keep you under his wings. If you are in God's hands, I must tell you. That you are in the right hand. And your life is properly secured. Because God has the potential to keep you no matter what man is able to take from you. There are situations, brethren, that man cannot take you out of. We put our trust in man and they disappoint us. But I'm saying to us tonight that God will not disappoint you. If you are not in the hands of God... Then you are in the hands of the devil. Then you are associated with evil. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 19 described him as the wicked one. If you are not in God's hand, where he's going to hold you, then you are in, a hand, in the hands of the enemy. And you would, you would be destroyed. But in the hands of God, he has the potential to change you. He has the potential to keep you. He has the potential to wash away your sins. The Redeemer lives. David said in Psalms 91 and verse 2 and downward. David says, God is my refuge. Brethren, tonight I want you to speak it and speak it by faith. Speak it with the confidence. Speak it with the assurance that God is your refuge and fortress and in him will I trust. Can you say that tonight as you look at this program? Can you quote it and say that God is my refuge and fortress and in him will I trust him? He says, surely, in Psalm 91, surely he shall deliver us without any doubt. God can deliver us. From the snare of the fowler and from noisome pestilence. He said, be not afraid for the terror by night. Nor the arrow that flyeth by day. Nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Brethren, I'm telling you tonight that God... Has the potential to make things happen in your life where you are going to be prosperous. God has the potential to change things around tonight. And I pray God that you are going to put your trust in him. 
I pray God that you are going to hold on to him and don't give up. Stand for him. I pray that the Lord will deliver you from any fiery furnace tonight. Any fiery furnace. And I pray that God will deliver you from any hand. Tonight I want you to put your trust in God. Verse 10 of Psalm 91 says, There no pestilence that walketh in darkness will cause any harm to you. And verse 10 says, There shall no evil come upon thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Brethren, the scripture is telling us that God has the potential to deliver us from any or from all evil that come your way. You think there is somebody that's trying to destroy you? Trust in God tonight. God is going to deliver you from the hand of that person. You have been doing a number of things that are not right in the presence of God. Let me tell you, God is able to make it right tonight. You have been struggling with finances. You don't have a job. Let me tell you, God is able to help you tonight. Nothing could destroy you once you put your trust in Almighty God. We are serving a God that has the potential to save. He has the potential to keep. And God has the potential to deliver. And to deliver you from any situation. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego made it abundantly clear to Nebuchadnezzar that we are serving a God that is able to deliver. Tonight, I want your friends to trust in that God who can deliver, deliver you from any situation. Let us pray. Almighty Father, we thank you because we believe, O oh God, that you're still alive, you're still powerful, and you're still the all-knowing God. We believe, O oh God, that you know the situation of every single person on the face of this earth. You are aware of the problems. And Lord, tonight, as I pray, I'm praying for someone who is looking at this program at this time. I'm praying for someone, oh God, who is entangled, who, who has been tied up, oh God, in things of this world. And Father, they cannot see you as the one that has the potential to free them. Tonight, I pray in the name of Jesus that someone who is looking, someone who is listening, oh God, can turn their lives around and turn to you and say, Lord, here I am. My situation is too much for me. My situation has gone beyond my control. I cannot do it anymore. Lord, before I give up, I'm asking you, oh God, to turn things around for me tonight. Oh God, I am believing that oh, you are the God that can change it and make it right. And Father, tonight, my trust is in you. Can someone say tonight, Lord, here I am. Here is my problem. Here is my situation. Here is my fiery furnace. Oh God, deliver me from it. Oh God, here is that hand that, oh Father, that is holding me down and I cannot lift my head. I cannot sleep at night. I cannot relax in my own home. Tonight we come against every plan of the enemy and we say, oh God, free someone tonight in the name of Jesus. Take them out. 
from that hand of the enemy. And Father, cover them with your hand. Shield them and keep them by your power. Lord, take charge and bless tonight. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen and Amen. Dear listeners, I want to thank you. If this program tonight has been a blessing to you, you can call me at telephone numbers 416-1751 or 444-8281 and share your blessings with me. I will be so happy to hear from you. Or you can visit our local church at the non prayer Open Bible Church located in St. Mark. Our services begin at 9.30 a.m. every Sunday morning. Once again, thank you for listening and do have yourself a blessed and peaceful night. Amen and amen. Lord bless you and keep you Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you Lord turn